Hey everybody, yeah, it's just a quick one about how to go about building doors that open and close. Um, I'm just going to cover sliding doors in this one. So, sliding doors. First of all, you need a frame. So if you've got your wall, your frame will sit on the wall and this will give you your depth. In the case of this, I've cut 4mm slivers of, um, this is the power light. I believe it's 15 mil elevation on the, the longest stretch so I'm doing my doors 39 mil tall so I've got a 15 mil elevation for the top edge of the sliding rail 3 mil depth of material plus 4 mil out from the wall I'm doing 4 mil out from the wall because the depth of the power light that I've got is 3 mil and I want clearance because if I use just a 3 mil depth it would just be really sticky and rough and paint would peel off and blah and blah so then you make this frame and this frame is for um, two doors because uh, it's for the double doors on my habitation block but if you imagine that this is up against the wall you then have your door which you just put in place and then you run uh, I'm probably not going to use, I haven't got any cut at the moment um, this is just a bit of power that I've got scaling about but I'll probably use plastic card because it's um, I've got plastic card which is like less than a millimetre thick so I'll minimise it and then that will create your runner your door will run in that gap and it will be fairly loose and then in the case of these doors because it's, it's being built in such a way that um, there'll be two doors and a single runner. I've literally just cut little bits of power light. I'm not putting a divider in um, because I really you should fit these before fitting walls into place, which makes me a dumbass because in this case I haven't done that. And then that'll act as a stopper, which keeps your door. The main thing with the sliders is you have to have enough width so that that would be the door in place. So if the doorway was here, that would be it covering the entrance and you have enough space to slide it to one side so the entrance is revealed. Uh, you could build this so you have an entire panel front uh, in which case make sure that if you having this half covered uh, make sure it's sort of cut in such a way so I've just got some random off cuts here but if I've got a random off cut if that was actually my slider covering it, make sure you've got these gaps so that you can actually reach into the door to pull it back across. Because if you've made a slot which the door disappears into and you can't actually reach the door anymore, um, that will mess you up. So these are the doors that I'm using on, on these H blocks. Um, I'll probably do a more comprehensive video about just about building doors in general at some point and show you some various ways of using this kind of method to create interesting sliding doors. Okay, so that's just covering a brief overview of sliding doors, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers everybody, take care, enjoy your modeling, have a good one. Bye bye.